about to fail. Oh, great. Well, mine only, uh, mine was only rumored to be 16K. You must have gotten some really good players to get your net worth up to 20K. Okay, 60 minutes of action recommended for McCormick and for Pook. Um, match sharpness, condition, match sharpness and condition. Yeah, Pook just came back from a injured uh, hamstring, so... I don't plan on playing him necessarily. Okay, so let's take a look. We have to replace um, Ferguson. And Ferguson has uh, Rome, shorter passing, uh, but not anything else, right? So it's just role oriented here. Um, shoot less often, dribble more, and more risky. Oh, he does have the more risky passes. So I need somebody. Uh, who can, oh, that, and that's because of his position. Okay, that's easy. That's easy to do. So if we look at Ferguson, other than Ferguson, the next best for this role is either Worrell. Well, there's a bunch. Worrell's not on. Let's see what his uh, passing 8, vision uh, 10, teamwork 9, Decisions 14, so I kind of like him. Millar's 11, 9, but not as good in the other areas. Look what we're all there. I had made him a promise to play him anyway, so that is fine. Um, pull 32 year old Jabondi, maybe, for the newcomer. Um, I think I'll stay with Higgins and Cunningham up front. Uh, we still don't have Pratt. I think I will let Fitchett also take a break. Mm, no, I guess not. We'll keep Fitchett on. Keep Tucker on the bench. That'll give me a D, DC on the bench, Pooley on the bench, Boot on the bench, Miller on the bench, Striker, a multi role player, and two MCs. Okay. Okay, so uh, we will do one more match. But give me uh, just a minute. I'm going to save it. I will be back in just a minute, and we'll get into this match and see how this uh, tweaks to the tactic works out.
Okay, so here we go, taking on 11th place Southport. It's an away match, which is going to make it all the tougher. Higgins is lacking match sharpness. Yeah, we knew that. The captain has not been selected. Ooh, okay. So, uh, Gerbondi is one of my captains. Who's my other normal team captain? I don't know. Our new center back is going to jump right in. We'll give him a number. Okay, so um, they've got a formation that just kind of similar to mine with the 4-1, but then they're going 2-3 versus my 3-2. So they're playing, the, they're playing wide. We're playing narrow. We're going to try to exploit this uh, um, area by hitting early crosses from these central areas into a packed midfield who can hopefully pick out a pass to the strikers and create some chances. Oh, wait. I thought this was a, oh, this is a home match. Never mind. Okay, that makes it a little less hard. It, it isn't any easier. It's just a little less hard. How's that? Well, let's set up the marking instructions. <clears throat> Go standard until I find something else I have to do. Eleven appearances and only two goals. Okay, so I think we'll go with this. Um, expect you to end our. Poor, that might be a little asking a little much, but none of them got disenchanted with it. So uh, structured. We've got our instructions set. We'll stay with control. I, you know what? No, it is a tougher. We're going to drop it down one notch to standard and bump it up if um, it appears that we need a little bit more. Okay, there we are. Teams are on the pitch. Warm-ups are being completed. Southport is in their yellow kit. We are in our blue kit attacking left to right and the Southport to kick off. Get by Marsden initially, then Marsden makes the tackle, and it's a throw in, <laughs> early throw into Southport. Taken short, cut to the inside, now switch fields. Fullbacks over there to cover, for jet back to Ryder. The newcomer's first touch is a ball forward, which gets intercepted at mid midfield. Uh, Jenkinson with a tackle, Fitchett with a ball forward. Cunningham nods it inside, then it goes uh, across the field. Young Yuga with a good tackle, taking the ball down the left side, now inside to Warall. Jenkinson, Milner, Warall. Milner, Jenkinson, back to Warall, out to Milner. Ryder, Fichette, Raymond, back to Fichette, Jenkinson. Lots of good passing here, and then Jenkinson loses it. we got 15 or so passes strung together. I've heard that song many a time in this save uh, already this year. Long cross in, gets cleared out, but then back into the box. And that shot goes straight to the keeper. Short pass out to Yuga. It's near side, Cunningham brings, makes a tackle, but is whistled for a foul. And it's a free kick just inside our half. Raymond Marsden, Marsden long ball intercepted at midfield. Nobody there to uh, pick up on the loose ball. And that cross near post, not far post, near post cross, claimed by the keeper. Higgs can't quite get on the end of that one, but Milner picks up the loose ball. Jenkinson, ball forward to Cunningham, can't pick it up. We're all Jenkinson, Cunningham, Marsden, Jenkinson, we're all Higgs, Higgins. Jenkinson, Marsden wide open on the right, gets across and gets blocked and is coming back fast the other way. Marsden not able to get down there, but Jenkinson there is there in coverage. Wins the ball and gets the ball back downfield, but it's uh, reclaimed by the yellow shirts. Cunningham now with the ball, loses it. And Asante, good tackle by Fitchett, the center back. And then Marsden's uh, clearance is out for a throw in. Yuga with a good tackle. 
Uh, gives up a throw-in on the far side. Now, we did uh, train uh, attacking set pieces, uh, I do believe, for this match. Uh, so maybe we'll be able to uh, get something off of it. Connect. We didn't reconnect. I might have lost connection, I can't tell. So I'll keep keep this going. Looks like it's just my laptop that lost connection. Ah, okay. Okay. Apologies for that, a little bit of a network glitch, and I am not seeing uh, chat right now because of a network issue locally, and it looks like I am coming back up, so I should get back, uh, chat back uh, here momentarily. Uh, Jenkinson, we're all, okay, so we've had a bit of possession, uh, it is 50-50, so not quite the dominate, not dominant possession we've had in previous matches, and of course we still haven't created any chances. So, eh, still early, and again, I expected to have problems against this team. We'll have to see. Yuga loses the ball. Now, I am using the hit early crosses, so I'm not sure why they're trying. Oh, I know why. Um, ooh, got lucky because he was offside. Let's go back to the instructions and look. No, not this. Uh, let's take a look because I probably have the fullback set to... to carry the ball more often and I don't want that with this setup. So Yuga has dribble more. We'll keep run wide. That's fine. We'll take the dribble more off of both of the fullbacks. I forgot I had those uh, instructions on them. We want them to put more crosses into the area in front of the 18-yard line. Because if they're going to carry it down to the byline anyway, then uh, getting the early crosses just doesn't make sense. The contradictory orders. Okay, we're all with the header. Can't quite keep it under control. Coming back the other way, far sideline still. Jenkinson intercepted. Higgins. Now Higgins, this is, a, is only his second match with us, I think. And uh, good pressure from the fullback forces a back pass there. Brandon picks up the loose ball. Marsden gets taken down. And now it's coming back the other way. Uh, Marsden tracking back on the inside, so he couldn't cut out the cross at the far uh, uh, at the source. He cut it out at the destination instead. And Marsden loses the ball. Higgins gets by one, finds Cunningham, back to Raymond. And then we back pass it back to midline. Muller. Ryder picks it up. The center back, uh, young center back we just signed, getting very active in this game, as I kind of expected. He's holding up well, too, at 94% condition compared to everybody else at 89%. So he had been getting some match time with his former team, so he's not out of uh, his match sharpness is up as well. And that cross goes to the keeper and throws it out quick to Yuga. Jenkinson, Marsden switches fields, back out to Cunningham, Marsden into Oral, squared to Milner, gets a ball forward. Useful looking ball, but Higgins can't get on the end of it, does force a throw in. Yuga takes it, back to Milner, into Yuga, who is offsides. So they might be playing a little bit of offside trap here. Because that was, uh, that, that developed pretty quickly. 
Long ball forward. Jenkinson wins the header. Uh, Cunningham gets on the end of it. Then his ball forward to Higgins. Finds Cunningham. Oh, there was a chance. Cunningham couldn't get, get a shot off there. Nice square pass from Higgins to Cunningham. Trying to set up something there. Larson keeps it in. Finds Brayman. Milner. More all. So this is actually starting to get some balls into the box in the useful areas. Higgins, Milner, back to Ryder. Jenkins and Milner, Warall, Cunningham, back to Warall, Milner, Yuga, Yuga's taken down, loses possession and goes back the other way. Ryder picks it up, sends the ball forward, Jenkinson can't get on the end of it, but it comes back to the chat. Jenkinson, Warall, Milner, Cunningham, out wide to Larson, into Warall, cross to Milner, Higgins with his back to goal, couldn't uh, pick out a pass there. Um, so far. Uh, okay, we haven't taken any shots yet. We haven't gotten any shots off yet. Uh, so we're back to 55% possession, but no chances yet. But we've had a couple build-up plays that look like they could produce something. So I'm holding holding out for this might be um, part of what we needed here. Of course, this is a, our first time using these instructions, so we're not always going to have results in your first, with your first tweak of the tactics. But it's looking just a little bit more promising. Again, hard to tell because we've had some plays like this. We've had a lot of games like this with a lot of possession, a lot of passing, and no no chances. And then we've had some where we've had the same thing with the chances. So really hard to tell. Marsden, good tackle. Fajet picks it up. Ball forward. Cunningham gets on the end of it. Jenkinson, Warall, Milner. Looking on that left side now. Now uh, fullback to fullback cross field. Out to Raymond. Milner. Back to Yuga. Into Jenkinson. Jenkinson tries to get a through ball to uh, Cunningham there. Can't quite do it. Ryder, Milner, Jenkinson. We're keeping the ball in their half of the field now. Jenkinson loses the ball, coming back the other way. Marsden forces it back across midfield. And then Milner seals it, gets good breakaway. Cutting him, Warall, then they slow it up. Jenkinson loses the ball just inside midfield again. Now it's uh, Kenyon behind, and uh, it runs out beyond him for a goal kick. So we've got kept it in the opposition half for quite a while now, which I guess is a start. We still have to create chances. And that cross is too close to the put, uh, keeper, and he picks it up. Let's take a quick look at uh, uh, is the radar working now? Not really. It appears to be static. But the action zones, action zones also isn't working. That's supposed to be fixed for this uh, update as well, or for this first update when it comes out. Yuga tackles it out for a uh, throw in far side. Okay, for a team that much higher up, they're not creating a lot of chances either. So it's still fairly solid defensively. I did go to a structured um, as opposed to a flexible. Um, so that's going to help keep us solid defensively. Um, now it's just a matter of creating those attacking chances. I think I'm going to step up for a few minutes to an actual attacking style and uh, see what breaks. Free kick given, Fitchett takes it. Cunningham loses the ball just inside the half. Couldn't, couldn't find possession. Marsden steals it back. Warall, Jenkinson. Jenkinson loses it again, but Marsden heads it back into play in the opposition side of the field. Now it's back on the near sideline. Long ball for Fitchett heads it clear, but uh, Sante was offside and he had a free kick. Uh, goalkeeper takes it, but it's no blue shirts in the vicinity. Coming back. Raymond with a tackle. Near side now. They're getting a lot of players forward. They only have their two center backs in their half of the field. Everybody else is forward. 
So maybe instead of an attacking, I need to go to a counterattack and a good cross, but it gets handled and cleared. Comes out to the far side. And uh, that was a dangerous cross. Yeah, they, they've gone to a more attacking. So we're going to counter with a counter and a up-tempo uh, direct passing here. Yuga, long ball forward, too far forward, comes back to the keeper. Ball forward, made the clearance. I should maybe do a, should I press more? Free kick taken, comes to the center, dribbled to the outside. That cross is blocked. Marsden following him all the way and blocking it out for a throw in. Stante back to Green, and that shot goes to the keeper. So now they've had a couple shots here in the last couple of minutes. Cleared out. Jenkinson unable to get on the end of it. Kenyon is there, and his cross is blocked partially. Fitchett picks it up. Cunningham gets the loose ball at midfield. Marsden, Cunningham, Warall, Milner. Time to start some build-up play again. Yuga has to track back to pick that up, and his pass forward to Higgins is intercepted to push forward. And it's Southport in attack again, but Cunningham wins the ball. Milner, nobody there. Ball out wide. Marsden misses a tackle but forces the back pass. Long ball forward. Fichet is there, cleared out for a throw. And takes it to Kenyon into it toward the box. And oh wow. That shot came out of nothing. That, well he didn't mean it. Yeah. Looked like he was it was a far post cross. <laughs> Keeper never saw it until too late. Here it is. And there were three yellow shirts in, in between, and it looked like he was just trying a little through ball and he got it in the corner of the net instead. It, I don't even found, think it counted as a shot. Higgins gets hacked down, runs a free kick. Center, Warhol's shot blocked off the wall. Chip forward, Cunningham picks it up, now comes back. And it's Kenyon, it's two on four. Raymond races back and tackles it out for a throw in. Blocked, cross blocked. So once again, we find ourselves in a hole and still not creating any chances here. Kenyon tackled. Marsden gets whistled for a foul. Free kick near side. And a long shot goes over the bar, but there was an offset. Keeper out to the center back, Jenkinson, Milner. And then back, Jenkinson picks up the loose ball. Milner ball forward. Higgins gets on the end of it. Gets his head to the ball, but there's nobody there to get on the end of the pass. And it's a long ball forward from the keeper. Now it's on the right line. I guess I don't need to open up the uh, widget for the uh, table. We know we're at the bottom right. Cunningham carrying the ball forward. We're all Higgins. Higgins picks up the loose ball and then can't do anything with it. Ah, this is starting to get frustrating. I cannot create any chances. Milner, long ball forward. Picked up, back to the keeper. Moon keeps it in play in the half. Jenkinson loses the ball. And then uh, the Yuga, the left back, uh, misses a tackle. And the ball comes across, but gets cleared out to midfield. Fitchett with the clearance. Jenkinson controls it. Gets it to all Out wide to Milner. His long ball forward. Nobody's there but a yellow shirt. But we do want to throw in. Go back to what I was going to do before they changed their tempo. And a long, long cross goes over the net. Lewis to take it, comes near side, Marsden chips it forward, Cunningham can't get on the end of it, Brandon Jenkinson, Higgins controls it and then loses possession, ball comes all the way back to Lewis the keeper, picks it up, kicks it out short to Yuga, 
Left back forward, tried to get it over the defense to cutting in hand, can't do it. Jenkinson has the ball now, it's Marsden inside and loses possession, comes back for Chet with it. Marsden picks up a loose ball, Ryder now has it. Out wide to Yuga, his ball forward, cut out. Marsden's long ball forward, cut out. Southport possession on the far side. So once again, a bit unlucky here at the half, it looks like. A, a goal that wasn't even a shot. That's worse than some of them we've conceded. Through the ball, riders there, good tackle by the, the newcomer. Support with a little bit of possession here at the end of the half, some short passing. And they're passing the ball between three and four players in one little quadrant of the field. Now it comes out toward the middle, and that cross comes in, and the keeper dives out and grabs it. Throws it out wide, Marsden, Fitchett, long ball, Cunningham, once again can't get there, but we do on the throwing. 30 seconds left of stoppage time, first half. Marsden ball forward, Cunningham gets by one player, gets across into the box, can't do anything with it, and that's the half. Well, a I would say it's a little bit more positive, but we still haven't gotten any chances. No shots. Ugh. Expect to see a better showing here. Uh, midfield. I expect better from the midfield. And from the strikers. I'm impressed with your, your, the quality of your shots. Yeah, what shots? Um, do we change a little bit more, make it a little bit more flexible and uh, not change anything else? Let's give it a try. I said, I expected, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is working out some. I expected problems against a team of this caliber, but I expected at least some shots. Yuga, back down, runs a free kick, near side. Cunningham to take it, gets the ball in the box. Ryder's there, but can't get on the other. Cunningham picks up the loose ball. Ryder to Yuga, Moral, Jenkinson, Cunningham. Back down right at the top of the arc there. Another free kick, 20 yards out. Cunningham over the bar. Our first two shots came early in the second half, it looks like. Or did we have a shot? prior to that in the first half. I don't know. I've lost track. Certainly no no chances created yet. Throw in near side. Crosses block out for another throw. Near side. Milner with the tackle. Gets the ball forward. Can't get to Higgins, but Wall picks up the loose ball. Now tries to find Higgins running forward and that ball's intercepted. And out for a throw far sideline. Jenkinson, Warall, Milner, Higgins, out to Cunningham, out to Marsden. Marsden can't control it, loses possession inside the box. Now, obviously this tactic was set up with Ferguson in mind as the that play that uh, playmaking role, but he's out injured, got got a training injury here for eight eight days a week or so, just before this match started, so Obviously, I, I should have cover for him. I can't have a one person, you know, rely on one person like that. New tactic or new new tweaks to the tactic. Maybe that's part of it. Coming in with a nice little flick. Jenkinson were all for the Higgins, then loses possession. They're just not getting those passes into the box like I had hoped. Fullbacks aren't making the crosses into the uh, midfielders in, in open space. Cunningham, Moral, Milner, Jenkinson goes out wide with it and then gets hacked down right at the far sideline. Moral takes it into Jenkinson in the middle. Jenkinson's hacked down again. And no card given. Cunningham takes a free kick, comes off the wall, and we get a corner off of it. Cunningham takes the corners too. Goes out wide. Cunningham keeps it in, puts it back in the box, and uh, 
And that comes off of uh, one of the center backs, I think, and out for a goal kick. Yuga keeps the ball in play, brings back to Ryder, ball forward, intercepted. Ball out, goes out to the keeper. Um, let's move the defensive line up a little bit and start passing a little shorter. Something has got to give here. We've got to find something that gives them some space to take some shots. I, can, I, I mean, yeah, they're playing with basically seven deep. Maybe I should try a little bit of long range shooting from one of the strikers and one of the midfielders. Because they are playing seven deep, basically seven in the box anytime we get in their third of the field. So that is going to be hard to break down. Uh, and, oh, Yuga. The fullback can't take a shot. Got into a position to, but can't. You know, he's a fullback. He's not used to taking shots there. Marsden, Raymond, Milner, Laurel, Milner. Forward to Higgins. Back to Yuga. Milner. Ryder, Paul Ford, Cunningham, Cunningham, yeah, Cunningham can't cut on it. Milner gets tacked down, earning a free kick. No cards issued still. Cunningham takes it into the box, out of the box. And it's a one on two. Coming back the other way, Moral just hooks the ball forward. Keeper's going to let it go out for a full kick. Um, you know what? I know what we can do. Um, because they're packing that box so much, we have to pull those fullbacks out of the box. We're going to actually widen our formation. We're going to keep the exploit the middle, but we're going to widen the formation by having the outside... Uh, the fullbacks and the outside uh, midfielders drift a little bit wider, maybe. And that should help pull some fullbacks out of the box and leave a little bit more room in the box for something to happen. I remember doing this last year very effectively, the last couple years very effectively. I just haven't gotten to it. I, I just recognize that they're packing the box so much that, that we have to maybe create some more width. And that's one way to do it. You can still exploit the middle while playing, while, while, while opening the uh, play a little bit on the flanks. You get with a good tackle, finds Higgins. Higgins chip forward, gets intercepted. Ball comes back, and now it's a throw in. Uh, no subs made. I'm going to drop that here. Long ball forward, Estante there, and he's uh, fortunately, uh, uh, I don't know if that was the newcomer. I think that was uh, Fitchett that actually uh, forced that out wide. No one with the interception. Higgins picks it up, running forward with the ball, loses possession, and now it's a one on two, two on two, two on three, three on three. Finally gets it out to midfield again. That's near sideline, comes out wide, and that ball hits I thought that hit the post and went out, but evidently the keeper got a hand to it. And Estante with a free header, but it goes wide, fortunately. So we've now given up eight shots, three on target. Yuga, Ryder, finds Cunningham. Cunningham's header's intercepted, but he wins the ball back in midfield. But Jenkinson loses it in midfield. And uh, once again, Yuga with a missed tackle tracks back and wins the ball back. And Ryder just puts it out for a throw. <laughs> that's that's nifty. Maybe you will have no board. No board to plays and no board to, uh, well, dump money into the club. Jenkinson, the chat, Ryder, long ball forward, nobody's there. Yuga, Milner, Moral, Jenkinson, Higgins. Loses the ball, comes back the other way. Ryder with the tackle. Raymond picks up the loose ball. Fichette, Milner, Higgins, Corral. Header forward gets intercepted. And it's the ball forward to the flank. Marston tracks back and good tackle and then earns a throw in. So how many non-fans do we have today? Uh, 407, 59 away. So we're only getting about 350 home fans these matches. 
thanks to a very poor run of form, we're getting less fans than we've had in the past. Hello, Dean. Welcome. Yuga, Jenkinson, we're all moving. And once again, losing that ball in that midfield area. Jenkinson, Cunningham, hacked down, no foul given. All put forward, newcomer rider puts it back into the opposition half and put down the play. Yuga, we're all Yuga, we're all, and we're all gets draws a foul, Cunningham takes a free kick into the box, but not nearly far enough. Cunningham is almost there to pick up the loose ball, but uh, we do earn a throw in, far side, just inside our half. Marsden to Jenkinson, back to Marsden, ball forward, gets intercepted, and it's coming back. Wouldn't it just be something? Another one nil loss, go figure, and that cross goes out wide. A little nifty play by Estante there, the four, I presume that's a four to Estante. Yeah. Uh, and getting by the uh, fullback on two little stepovers, it looked like. And getting a cross in, but the cross was unable to do anything. And then Yuga, a good interception, and then he just wastes it by just twiffing the ball forward. Marsden picks up the loose ball, sends it back to the keeper. With Ryder, Milner, Jenkinson. Now, Ryder's having a decent. Debut 6.9 so far. I've seen his name a couple of times for tackles and interceptions. Milner's hacked down, no foul given once again. Fletcher is forced to make the tackle, send the ball forward, and uh, pressure by Cunningham forces the throw in. Far sideline, about nine yards out, throwing straight to a yellow player. It comes this down to Estante. Wide, Yuga is there to clear it out for a header, uh, headed out for a throw in. Uh, no subs made on his side yet. Whaley with a shot, pretty tandem straight to the keeper. So how are we going to get some shots created with this? Again, I can't think it's all the opposition, although obviously playing seven deep, it's going to that's going to be part of it. We still have to find a way to crack these formations when we have them. Marston, ball forward. That's not helping things. That's for sure. Uh, we still have a very slight edge in possession. It's our pass. Our pass already has got to be low. It's 75%, not as low as it seems. Higgins draws a foul. Just outside the box, near side. Cunningham takes it. Little ball in. Kept in play. Wall in the middle. Tracking backwards with it now. Finds Jenkinson and Fichet and Wall. Moomer. Higgins loses the ball just outside the uh, top of the arc and learns to throw in. We just can't seem to crack the defense here. And there's another Higgins tackle that, that is not whistled as a foul. But Yuga certainly is whistled for a foul. Milner earns the, that ball. Jenkinson, we're all long ball forward. Higgins started the run and then realized he wasn't going to get there and pulled back. Ah, Jenkinson, Madsen, we, oh, their striker's down. Jenkinson, Milner, out wide to Cunningham, gets by the tackle, and then puts it out for a throw. Gashed head is the prognosis. Oops, there was a sub. A couple subs. Same formation. They brought the new striker in. And a new right winger. Okay, Yuga takes the throw and finds Ryder. We got 15 minutes left. I need to make some changes myself. I think Yuga with a good tackle there. Let's go, uh, uh, Milner. What is your role here? Uh, you've got the uh, the three passes, so I want somebody with passing. Is that Boot? Cooley, Milner, Milner probably. Mm, yeah, Millar for Milner. And then Yuga and Pooley, you'll have to take that spot for Yuga there. Not ideal, but you're what I have right now. Okay, two subs. Somebody with abysmal morale there. Is that what I saw? Raymond blown for the foul. They're all looking calm. And we're all looking frustrated and nervous. I think I'll also do a little bit of a uh, talk here. Encourage them. 
Still no real chances created. Once again, we're all Jenkinson, Cooley, Higgins, Jenkinson, Cunningham, little chip over to Cooley. Cooley's uh, cross goes out for a throw. Cooley, Higgins, Millar, back to Higgins. A little bit of a ricochet in the box. And then Higgins is whistled for a foul just outside the box, near side of the 18. of the game. Mark makes a clearance. Ball out to near side. And then Pooley makes a clearance and uh, Cummings was offside, however. So we earn a free kick. Higgins can't get the ball to Cunningham. Then a long ball forward and that's going to go out. Okay. Um, last few minutes. Uh, let us pull uh, Higgins for the youngster and see if he can strike something. Strike a spark in the uh, attack. He had a couple chances when he came on late last match. Wall, Millar, out wide to Cooley, into the wall. Jenkinson, and lose possession. It's coming down the near sideline, and it's a 4-on-3 break, but the cross goes to the center back, Fitchett, who clears it out for a throw. Throw near sideline. Forced backwards, then out wide again. Raymond with the uh, interception, heads it forward, loses possession at midfield. Comes back, Fitchett is whistled for a foul. Goes out wide. Raymond with a good tackle. Let's see if we can do something with it. Two on two, we're all. Little, little ball of touch forward, but nobody can't quite get on the end of it. And had some possibility, but couldn't just quite put enough pace on it to, to get send the striker through that time. Good tackle, interception. Marsden with the long ball upfield toward Cunningham. More all out wide to Marsden. The fullback with the cross into the box and a shot. And the keeper grabs it. There was a chance. There was a little bit of a buildup. That was good. Fichette, Cunningham, and out wide for a throw in. We're going to uh, get a little pressure on them for the last couple minutes of the match. Marsden into McCormick and he scores. Goal! The youngster has done it. Brought him in as a sub. We're all out wide. The fullback Marsden with a nice little shot, right a, a little cross right along the 18 yard line. McCormick had a defender between him and the keeper. Keeper probably didn't see it till late. And we've got an equalizer. Our fifth goal of the season comes late in the, uh, the second half to equalize against Southport. Let's see if uh, we can, uh, can one, hold on to it, and two, let's see if we can't grab a go-ahead goal here. That was some good, two or three good build-up plays here in the last couple minutes. That was our first real chance, but we had a couple possibilities early. Long ball forward, cutting, and McCormick was probably going to be offside there. Marsden tracking out, gets by him. Clearance, downfield, back in, Raymond with the interception. McCormick can't get on it. Worrell does, however. Cooley now playing in his fullback spot, going out wide. Keeper kicks it downfield, goes out for a throw in at the far side, right at midfield. Fitchett with the initial clearance, but goes back to the throwing taker. Now they find McCormick. McCormick finds Cunningham wide to Marsden, who created the last, uh, last goal. Earns a throw in. Got three minutes of stoppage time. 30 seconds left for regulation. Wall in. Comes out long. Keeper picks up the loose ball. Hoofs it forward. Wall with the initial win. And then McCormick is there trying to pick up the loose ball. Can't do it. Ball forward. Ryder gets it. Ryder's been pretty solid in his debut. McCormick out wide. Marston looking for options. He's hacked down. Earns a free kick. <laughs> 
Nice. Uh, maybe he's got money to dump in. And he knows you had a good run last season as well. So maybe he's counting on you at, uh, uh, getting a bit more this season. One minute gone. Little chip into the box. Cleared out. Fitchett. Uh, okay, we got an offside call in our favor. Keeper takes it near side. Cooley. Ball forward. The Cormac can't get it. But Brendan picks up the loose ball. Jenkinson. Mueller. Wide to Pooley again. Cuts it into Warall. Jenkinson back to Ryder. Warall. Jenkinson. Pooley gets tackled from behind, but does earn a throw in. Less than a minute to go. Pooley, Millar. Let's see if we can't do something here in this minute. Maybe create one more chance. Nope. Ryder loses it out for a throw in. So, last chance is going to come to Southport, evidently. Cross in. Ryder clears it. Not too far, though. Another. Nope. That's it. 1 1. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. I didn't think we would uh, be able to get a result against Southport. Our first draw of the season. And uh, the young 17-year-old, 18-year-old new striker to the side provided the spark. Marsden with the assist. And uh, we've got ourselves a point. A very precious point. Uh, only five shots, only nine shots against. So... It's still solid, fairly solid defensively. Still lacking in a lot of uh, create, chance creation. Uh, Ref had an 8.0 match rating. Estante with a 6.6 rating. Millar, our key player, with a 6.8. Um, any milestones? Chippenham, Ryder played in his first league game and his first game for us. Jenkinson with his 50th appearance, and McCormick with his first goal, career league goal for Chibnam. Doesn't do much for us. It does give us a point. Puts us uh, still five points from safety. Uh, still obviously a long ways to play. Uh, two wins and a draw from 12 matches isn't especially good. Uh, it's one of the reasons I was really worried about going up in the first season. But we got a point. We'll, we'll start there. So now we actually have seven points in our last four matches after zero points from eight matches. So if you look at it that way, we've increased tremendously uh, our last third of the last third of the season played. We still have a long ways to go, however. Uh, let's take a quick look at individual stats, especially for the new players. So Ryder came in first match at center defender. 26 of 48 passing, so that obviously not especially good. A lot of long clearances. Two tackles, two tackles, one. 12 headers, 9-1, two of them key headers, and 16 interceptions. That's a pretty solid debut, 6.9 on his debut. Um, Marsden, of course, got his assist. He was 32 of 53 passing, so his passing has gotten better with this format. Still only one of four crossing. Uh, seven interceptions, one dribble. Uh, Fitchett also had a few dribbles in there. Uh, who else? Cunningham in his, uh, what is that, his 10th match for us now maybe? 11th, something like that. Still no goals for him. Uh, 39 of 49 in passing, four crosses, one key pass, eight headers, eight, one of 10, one key header. Three interceptions, three dribble. Uh, where's the shots? Um, two shots, neither on target. And then the new, uh, the youngster uh, Luke McCormick came in with like seven minutes to play. Two passes of two attempts, two headers, neither one, but one shot on target, and it was the equalizing goal for a 7.3 match rating. So. Okay, I can be happy with that result. I should be completing my coaching course here sometime soon. Okay, that's the last match I'm going to play tonight. I need to, um, I'm going to sim up to uh, the next match, but we'll save the next match for this weekend. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get much in tomorrow uh, or Saturday. Sunday, I'll certainly get a few matches in. Uh, again, if you have enjoyed this, uh, just click the follow. Um, you'll get notified when I go online. 
Uh, you can check the YouTube page linked below, which are also going to have all of my matches for this challenge posted, plus maybe a, a quarterly uh, 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 say uh, video that isn't doesn't contain any matches, but contains some uh, bookkeeping type stuff, scouting, and all that type of stuff. Yes, I did change some team instructions there. I'll go over that here in a minute. So Ryder made his professional debut, debut, and it was a pretty good one. Uh, match report for that new striker that we've been looking at. Um, still not fully scouted, but it should be getting close. Gah. Looking decent, still not quite there. Basingstokes is... Uh, left back. Interested in transfer, interested in a loan. Who's he playing? Mason Stoke. Aerial, versatile, concentration marking. Well, good crossing, poor tackling. Yeah, no. Okay, so what I did for this match, uh, go to my tactics. Couple things. Uh, first of all, we dropped into a basic structured mentality. Now, we didn't get much going until we changed that that back to flexible. So I don't know. I, I'm still in favor of a structured shape against the tougher teams and a more flexible shape against um, some of the weaker teams. Southport is, cons is probably one of the – supposed to be one of the top ten teams in the league. Uh, so I, I tended to go with that. Instructions, I removed the uh, overlap and I switched it for hit early crosses. I also went to exploit the middle. The idea is, it turns out we get most of our goals and even that goal in that last match was, well no, that last goal was a uh, cross from the right, wasn't it? But most of our goals have come from through passes from the center. So the idea is we get some the fullbacks with the ball, hitting crosses from just inside the half, you know, inside the the first third of the opposing half into the middle and then one of these uh, outside uh, either one of the outside midfielders uh, try a through pass into the strikers or the advanced forward or the more advanced um, central midfielder maybe takes a shot from a little bit deeper um, kept it at normal tempo and shorter passing and that's working well for creating uh, a good passing game, so I'm not changing that. The one thing I do need to change to make this work, and I changed it in match, I remembered to change it in match, is to remove the dribble more command from each of the fullbacks, because in the previous one I wanted them to dribble and take it forward. In this one I'm not as interested in them carrying the ball all the way up to the end line. I'd rather have them get a, pat, a cross in here if they can, cross it into the middle above, you know, out, just outside the 18-yard line and, and getting something happen from there. Um, I think that was pretty much it for... Now, in the end of that last match, I might change this a little bit. Um, in the end of the last match, uh, because they were playing with seven man deep, basically packing the box, they had a 4-1-2-3 formation, and all of the midfielders, the DM and the um, fullbacks were dropping back into the box, for um, not, which was preventing me from really making any chances. So what I did is I took it out to a wide play, let my fullbacks or my outside midfielders drift wide, pulling the fullbacks out of the box, which created a little bit of space in the box. So I think what I might do, I'm going to still keep it somewhat narrow, but maybe not fully narrow, and see if that will help me in creating that space. Again, when you've got somebody wide, those fullbacks have to come out of the box to cover them. So whether it's one of the advanced midfielders or whether it's one of the fullbacks coming the, down the field, it's going to pull somebody out of the box. And when we're facing a packed box like we've been doing a lot, I think, this season, if I were to go back and watch some of those matches, I think it might help in creating some more space and some more chances. And it certainly 
you know, just a couple minutes after I made that change, we did get the equalizer and we did get two or three chances up front. So I think I'm going to go with that. It's going to, to obviously change our familiarity a little, you know, a bit. They're going to have to retrain slightly for it, but it's not going to be a huge change. We're still showing 100% fluid in it, so I think we're going to go with that. Okay, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sim forward until the next day, taking a look at some of this bookkeeping. There aren't but a couple matches between now and then. Um, okay, we do have another loanee coming in. That'll give us another uh, playmate, uh, another midfielder to help out. Uh, someone who's who can pass the ball, um, has some decision making, some teamwork, work rate to help out. Again, I did lose Ferguson this one, so that, that does obviously leave me one short, although he's not on a long-term injury. Uh, I, I, I've got a lot of people that can, can play midfield, but they aren't all natural midfielders, so I'll add another one. I only have to play them on a rotation basis, so their fans are unhappy about the loan signing as they are not ready for first-team duty yet. That's fine. We'll get them there. Uh, we're going to train him on... Let's work on quickness for him for now. Okay, third place, Morecambe will be the next match. Again, not going to be played tonight. Hey, we got a cash injection of 120000 That'll get us through two months at losing uh, two and a half months. Yay! Got two and a half months more cash. That'll get us through December. Maybe. Maybe we'll get a, a little bit of a cup run because we do. We should have a cup draw coming up, I think. Right? Maybe? Possibly? Fourth qualifying round is November 20th. So, yeah, it won't be uh, until at least after the next match. But it is coming up. Okay, another match report for a midfielder that's still on contract. Two to three star potential, two to five star or two to three star current ability, two to five star potential ability. Get a little bit more information on him. Defending set pieces. Well, we worked attacking set pieces last time. I'll go ahead and work on defending set pieces this time. Let's see. They are their goals scored. Fairly spread out a little bit more between the 30th and 45th minute, which is where most of our goals have been scored as well. Uh, that's also where they've conceded the most. Uh, wow. Um, conceded five from passes and five from crossing. And one long ball. So, and it looks like mostly from their our left flank, their right flank is where most of the goals have come from, or against them have come from. In the meantime, they've got a fair balance of left, right, and center for, for their goals. Okay, Raymond, uh, unhappy with the high amount of extra training. He's training in stamina. Well, you know, if you build up your stamina, it won't seem like such a high amount of extra training. It'll just seem like normal training. So stick with it. You're doing good. Not going to change anything for that. So third place and fifth place, Morecambe and, and Torquay coming up next. That does not sound like a pleasant prospect. Okay, training advice summary, training workload, uh, individual workload for Rabin. Yeah, we just talked about him. Uh, next week training average to low because of multiple matches next week. I thought we already did that. Wait a second, training team. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Low. And then a week without a match is going to be on high and hot the following week. Back. To Mm, what to do? <coughs> mm.
<coughs> Pardon me for a second. Face the impossible? Yep, I would say so, but hey, we faced the impossible last match too and came out with a point. We're still without two of our starters. They're out there without Luke McCormick. <coughs> Where do I... <sighs> Cambridge? No. Ah, uh, former Chelsea player. Oh, I take that back. We do have a, qualif uh, a fourth qualifying round draw. So, let's have some drum rolls. Let's see who we get to face in the FA Cup fourth round. We are expected to get past this round, so we must get something we can beat. One VNN team gone. <clears throat> A VNL team gone. I like to see VNL teams gone. There's another one gone. Two gone. Three gone. Four gone. Five gone. Six gone. Let Look at all those national teams going. Seven gone. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind a nice English regional premier team or something like that. Just something. Oops. Oh, there we go. There's an eighth one gone. The Sutton is gone. Nine are gone. Kidminster is gone. Ten. <clears throat> Oops. Well, okay. Here we go. It's going to be a home match. Pick a team. Let's go against uh, North Furby. Let's play the Furballs. Nope. It's Whitehawk. A VNS team. Okay, we'll take it. Um, were they in the VNS last year? I don't remember. Um... Evidently so. I can't remember how we did against them. Okay, so White Hawk it is. We'll just go ahead and click draw all teams. Okay, um, ba -ba -ba. have not lost a White Hawk in the last two meetings between the two sides. Very good. <clears throat> They're currently ninth in the south with a reputation probably about the same as mine, truth be told. Let's take a quick look at reputations here. I bet they have the same rep as mine, despite us having gone up. Um, clubs, list. Okay, so this is us. We're actually not at the bottom of the... Uh, oh, wait, that's south. Okay. So we're, we're no longer... Oh, we're not filtered in. That's why. National. Okay, so here we are in the VN. Uh, Whitehawk is above us in rep still, despite us having gone up with a trophy with a league win. Whitehawk are still above us in rep. Um, although there's only one, two, three South teams that are higher rep than us, so that's a bit of a change. We're probably actually virtually identical, I would guess. In rep, if we were to actually look at the numbers. Speaking of which, have they posted the um, reputations yet in the thread? Anyone look? I've got it up. Let's see if they've uh, posted the reps and see what we started with for a reputation. Yes, reputations are, well, no, reputations are not posted. Never mind. Are you still in the editor? You can look up our rep, <clears throat> our starting rep, anyway, since we've changed, obviously. <clears throat> okay, uh, so we get White Hawk, but that will come after a pair of uh, hard-fought matches versus Turkey and Morecambe. Uh, Morecambe, I believe, didn't they start in League 2? which means they're down a league. Okay, let's take a look at some player recruitment advice. Um, a striker worth recruiting. 
are worth scouting. I mean, acceleration and pace look okay. First touch and heading look okay. We'll at least scout them. Alex Byron. Ooh, great first touch. Great passing. Possibly a decent vision. Uh, definitely worth scouting. He's also available for on a free transfer. Was that a 32-year-old? <clears throat> no, 22-year-old at that. Definitely worth scouting. <clears throat> um, a di uh, fullback with a bit of def of tackling and positioning. Marking isn't good. Heading isn't good. Jumping isn't good. Don't know anything about his crosses. I think I'll pass on him. Uh, good heading, good marking, good tackling, decent positioning, maybe decent jumping for a central defender. We will go ahead and scout him. And for a 28-year-old left and center defender, we will pass on him. A couple goalkeepers, good command, good handling, good throwing. We'll at least take a look and get an initial scout report on him. Uh, I'll pass on him. Poor kicking, probably poor tendency to punch, poor throwing, poor command, which is really a big one for me. The only thing he has is handling, so we'll pass on him. And almost all of the hot prospects we've had come up in our, our assistant manager monthly reports or week by weekly reports have been goalkeepers. Again, I'll pass on him. No command of area, kicking, tendency to punch, throwing all low handling is the only thing he's got. So we'll scout four of those recommended players. <clears throat> Allen contract mutually terminated from Dover. Let's see what we know about him. Ooh. Wow. Uh, he's a 19-year-old with 11 to 18 finishing. Wait a second. Injury history? A uh, little bit. Viruses were two of them. Cut hand, gashed leg, gashed leg, gashed leg. Ugh. They are all short term, which is good. We don't know anything else about him. Um, I. What does he want? Not interested. Okay, well, we will at least scout, continue scouting him. Not interested in taking a step up. We are scouting him. Okay. Uh, that's one that we've been paying attention to over the course of the last month or so. I'm surprised Dover let him go. I wonder what Dover has that they could let him go. Um, you know, he's only made five appearances. Well, two for Dover at that. Three for Kelmsford. Uh, and nothing much before that. Airdrie and Wolves previously. Wow. We'll, we'll let him go for a bit. We'll keep scouting. I mean, we're not going to get much out of him now because he's not playing for a team, but he looks extremely usable. At finishing, we could use him in a variety of striker roles. Not currently interested in entering content. The financial package on offer from Chippenham isn't enough to convince me to relocate. I haven't offered any financial package yet. How could you know? Oh, well. Walton, okay, one of our young graduates is eligible for a professional contract. Let's take a look. <clears throat> uh, one and a half star blue, which isn't good. One and a half star potential gold, not good. Potential to be a decent player is about all he can muster. Uh, he's a right winger, which we don't use. The only thing he's really got going for him, he's got a little bit of crossing, a little bit of pace and acceleration and some flair, but not much else. I don't think he is going to get a professional contract. Let's take a look. Could pr improve a lot. He is a current north-south player. A lot of our 16-year-olds did have that current north-south current ability, which is a lot different from my previous couple years on this challenge when the first year graduating class were mostly well-suited to the regional premier as opposed to well-suited to the north-south division. So I appear to have gotten a better crop of youngsters. In fact, I don't know if I had any that didn't meet at least decent north-south. Let's take a quick look at the youngsters' uh, current abilities. I might be wrong. No, very well north-south. Uh, very well north-south, 
That's the gray goalie. Uh, very well north south. See, I didn't get anything like that in last the previous two seasons uh, versions of Football Manager. All of my graduates were well suited or decent uh, regional Premier Division, but these are all at least north south current ability. So I don't know if that's the team or if that's my staff or or what it is if it's a tweak to this season's of uh, uh, this edition of football manager but all of my graduates this year came out to at least north south current ability um, yeah every single one of them so which is useful if we go back down we have some youngsters <laughs> we know we can play for us at, at a good level uh, okay Pook uh, recommended maximum of 45 minutes but we're not going to play another match tonight so I think that will be all once again this entire series uh, are going to be uh, posted on YouTube uh, I'll also be streaming as many of them as I can there may be a few that I don't stream that I just record and post uh, thanks for joining, everybody. I hope you enjoy this series as we try to take Chippenham. Well, first of all, we try to keep Chippenham, Chippenham up in the conference. Um, you can see here uh, uh, somewhere in here. No. We won the conference or the National South uh, in our first and only year of uh, my management. But we really are struggling here in uh, this second year, our first year in the uh, Vetera Conference. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for all the comments. Don't forget to check out the Steam chat group. You're welcome to join and chat with us about your games, uh, whether it's this challenge, another challenge, or just Football Manager in general. I said there's usually... Anyway, there's half a dozen of us in the channel now. There's usually a few of us, depending on the time of day. Some of us are American, some of us are English, some of us are, are elsewhere. I'm not sure where everybody's from, but I know we've got a couple over in England as well. So we're on at a uh, fairly large time area area of time during the day. So welcome to join that group. Just uh, search the... Uh, 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 yeah, I can't post it. Search for the Diffuse chat group and uh, look us up there. Find me online. Uh, go ahead and click the follow if you want to uh, get notified when, when I'm streaming. Check out the YouTube channel if you want. Uh, both these, uh, man, all of these matches plus other games will be uh, posted up there as well. Thanks for joining everybody and I'm going to give my voice a break. Have a great evening and I'll catch you next time.